I remember when we did it, it was just kind of like, no, I can't <laughs> eat these scenes anymore. And he it was, was like, so, he was pretty upset. I was like, no, we're doing this. So let's go back in time to August 2015, five years ago, we're in August right now, so it's mm. been five years since this all, all started, but let's go back and talk about some of the symptoms I was dealing with. So I had vertigo, tingles, numbness, I had uh, blurred vision, I had brain fog, I was very sensitive to uh, light and noise. Um, had horrible migraines. I had to get these migraines till I was, you know, on the floor throwing up. And then I had the heart palpitations. I had tremors going on. I had major fatigue. And it was like I was fatigued all the time. But then when I tried to go to sleep, I could never go to sleep. I had insomnia. And then if I did go to sleep, I'd end up sweating through all my clothes and then sweating through the sheets. And it was just a really uncomfortable feeling and then all the panic attacks started and those were horrible it was like every 15 minutes i was having a panic attack and the heart palpitations were so bad it made you feel like you were having a heart attack yeah. so i remember going constantly into the emergency room in the er and telling the doctor i feel like i'm having a heart attack and so this went on for like a year and a half where I was just going from doctor to doctor to doctor, uh, UCSF, Stanford, Kaiser, naturopaths. I probably went through like 12 different doctors and the best answer that they gave me was that I had anxiety. Um, another one said that I had Crohn's disease. Another one said that I had IBS. Another one said that I was dealing with chronic fatigue syndrome and then they all said that your body is attacking itself, which really led nowhere. <laughs> yeah. So finally, March 2017, so about a year and a half later, we came across the medical medium book, the first book, read the Epstein-Barr chapter, and it completely related to all of Ben's symptoms. Um, and so we decided to dive in and just full on give it a try. So the first thing we did was make the celery juice. And you know, Ben was sick on the couch, so I made it. And do you remember how we made that celery juice? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> <laughs> so we didn't really know how to make the celery juice. Um, so I blended it and then we just drank it. Pulp, pulp and everything, uh -huh. nice and thick <laughs> and uh, like a slushy. <laughs> but then we learned that no, that's not how you do it. You need to strain it. Um, or get a juicer and mm -hmm. juice it. <laughs> we were blending it. So that's a big struggle. We know as a lot of people don't know how to make the celery juice. That was, you know, three and a half years ago. Now there's tons and tons of information on how to make the celery juice. Um, I don't remember now if it's actually laid out in his first book. So maybe that's why we were confused mm -hmm. and I didn't read the book fully you know, I was like reading the book and we were doing all this because we just wanted to start right away. So the medical medium heavy metal detox smoothie, we knew that we needed to get on that because Ben was dealing with a lot of brain fog and, and symptoms that are caused by heavy metals. So we got on that right, you know, right alongside that celery juice and started incorporating that one. So on top of learning a whole new way of eating, we had decided <laughs> that this is the right thing for us and we're just going to go all in. We're going to dive in and do the 28 day cleanse. I mean, Ben was so sick that we're like, okay, we just, we got to do this. You know, mm -hmm. like we want him to feel better. We need to see if, the, if it helps. So right after starting that celery juice and the smoothie, I was like, okay, this coming Monday, we are doing the 28 day cleanse, four weeks of eating raw fruits and veggies. And even the first week we did it with no fats, uh, which Anthony recommends trying out if you want. I remember <laughs> when we did it, it was just kind of like, no, 
I can't eat <laughs> these scenes anymore. And he it was, was like, so, he was pretty upset. I was like, no, we're doing this. Yeah. And it was like, you have a really hard time losing those things that you found so good for so long. And you're just taught that these are, you know, that you need protein and that, you know, you need a glass of milk a day for your calcium and you need an egg for your omegas. And, you know, you're taught from such a young age that this is the best way to eat that when you have to change it, there's there's always going to be that, that voice in your head telling you, no, don't do that. Yeah. You know, you're not supposed to eat this way. So we did the 28-day cleanse. It was a success. Ben was feeling good. We were done sort of like end of April of that year. Um, and then about a week or so later was my birthday. And we had a trip planned to San Diego to, to visit with some of my family and hang out with some friends. Um, ben was feeling good. So we were like, all right, this is great. Really exciting. Um, we had a party bus planned for a wine tasting tour. Um, so we were really excited that he would be able to enjoy it. Yeah. Notice how I said wine tasting. So <laughs> we, we went and we drank and had wine. Um, at this point we had not cut alcohol out of our diet. And, um, after the day, I of course was like craving pizza. So we got a pizza and that was not the best idea. Next day, did not feel so good, of course, from the alcohol and from the gluten and the dairy. Yeah, it feeds viruses, both those foods too. <laughs> so yeah. it wasn't a good idea. Ben was in really, really bad shape, like terrible shape. Yeah, I was throwing up, I had migraines, and then we had to hop a flight going home that same day. I remember that, that was rough. Yeah, later that day. Yeah. Um, so that was the only time we ever, I guess, cheated on the diet. And after that, we were like, no, <laughs> mm. we don't want you to go through that. We are like, we are going all in with this. We are removing all those troublemaker foods and just going all in. Yep. But I do remember we did keep drinking. We did keep drinking. That was like, that went on for about a year in while we were doing medical medium. It wasn't like a every weekend thing, but it was like a special occasion here and there. Right. You know, and I remember going to a buddy's bachelor party in Las Vegas. And after I came back, I was like, all right, no more drinking. <laughs> that was just too, too much yeah. for me. And that's really where we, when we quit it out was like a it's... year later. It's such a social thing. Like we got so used to, totally. you know, having a glass of wine with, with friends or even just like on the weekend having a glass of wine with each other. And you get so used to that. And mm -hmm. that is definitely a struggle that we hear a lot with other people as well. It's something that's kind of hard to let go of. But once we've, you know, we've learned more and more about taking care of our bodies that we just don't have that desire anymore to put it in our bodies. And once we decided to stop drinking, I mean, Ben's health really- Oh, it like, yeah, I was, like, I was healing like twice as quick. Exactly. Because the alcohol was going to the liver and we need the liver to heal ourselves. Yeah. So as soon as you cut out the alcohol, you'll really start to see a big difference in your healing and you're gonna feel amazing. So. <laughs> Don't do like us and wait a year, you know. Yeah, it was a full year into it, but it wasn't. We weren't drinking every single day yeah, or like, every weekend. And it was it mainly was like, a, like we were like, oh, we'll just do organic wine. Yes, stuff but it's like still that. Still alcohol. <laughs> Don't recommend it. <laughs>